How the heck did Kai Green lose to Ronnie Rockle at the 2010 Mr. Olympia event? With no disrespect at all meant to Ronnie Rockle. But let's face it, guys. I mean, the year before, Kai Green placed fourth in his debut. And the following year, 2011, he placed third, I believe. Whereas Ronnie Rockle placed seventh the year before, 2009. And in 2011, I believe he placed ninth or tenth, I believe ninth. So, I mean, Kai Green obviously was a much better contender when it comes to the Olympia crown. So how did Kai Green fall all the way to 7th place, whereas Ronnie Rockle was pretty much bumped up to 6th place because of this? Well, you can't really tell anything from a front relaxed position when it comes to Kai Green. This was never a good position for him at all. Rear relaxed, I couldn't find. So there's no real symmetry round. And at first glance, I now realize just how Kai Green did lose to the much smaller man and less gifted individual when it comes to bodybuilding, I guess you could say. And Ronnie Rockle, it is a simple answer, guys. Look at his waistline. He looks like Lee Priest, for goodness sakes. And I use Lee Priest as a reference when I see a good waistline, because he probably had one of the best of all time. And on the contrary, Kai Green looks like he has exploded in the stomach. Let's have another comparison here. And if I can, I use two different types of pictures. I like to do the little extra work for you guys because you guys have shown me a lot of love lately with my views. So I like to give back when I can. Kai Green, you can see he has superior legs, superior arms, even in the lats. But like I said, that stomach has exploded. And on the contrary, Ronnie Rockle looks like a dream wrapped in a blanket. Now, would I pick him in a judging situation? I'm not judging this one. I'm just basically seeing how Kai Green did lose to the smaller man. Front lat spread. Now, the conditioning is better probably for Ronnie Rockle, of course. You could see from the front relax, there was some vascularity there, perhaps some thin skin. But in the front lat spread, Kai Green, he really hides that big waistline away. And he is showing a much superior pose, I do believe. So I don't think it was the front lat spread that lost it for Kai Green. There's another one here. And yes, Kai Green really blooms in this pose. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Kai Green loses this pose. Next pose. And there's no explanation for this. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Kai Green loses because he is disqualified for grabbing those tights. You're not allowed to do that, guys. And the placing of his uh, his number there, I don't appreciate that at all. Anyway, guys, all jokes aside, this is, like I said, it's not a judging venture. I'm basically answering the question, how did Kai Green lose to Ronnie Rockle? And it appears so far it was the midsection, in particular here in this side chest shot. This is a very distended midsection for Kai. It happened before. It happened after. I mean, it's it's problematic for Kai. And Ronnie Rockle, on the contrary, fantastic. You notice these two guys, bone structures, totally different. Ronnie Rockle, little itty-bitty short legs. Kai Green, horse legs. Look at the length of them. But he has a very short torso. And on the contrary, Ronnie Rockle, very long torso. So, bone structures, this, these guys are like Patrick Moore and Nathan Diasha. Side tricep. Kai usually is able to hide that stomach away in this shot. But even here, little tiny Buddha belly sticking out. And on the contrary, once again, I hate to keep reiterating on this, but that waistline of Ronnie Rockle. Just a dream wrapped in a blanket. And that's exactly why and how he defeated Kai Green. Because it sure wasn't on muscle mass. Look at the size of Kai Green's tricep. Striated as heck too. And look at the calves hanging hamstrings. This man was a dangerous, dangerous man on the bodybuilding stage. But this goes to show you guys, conditioning, distended midsections, they are punishable. We are pretty much whipping a dead horse when it comes to the back development. I mean, Kai, yes, his midsection was distended. His conditioning probably was down. If you've seen them in person, I can imagine... The judges did see fit because of the conditioning to punish him with his placings. But as far as the back shots are concerned, the hamstrings, the striations, and the glutes, 
and of course the genetic trait of those lower latin insertions for kai like i said we're whipping a dead horse kai green did not lose to ronnie rockle due to the back shots of course we have a couple of shots here just to be fair and like i said in the first comparison there's just no way that kai green lost to ronnie rockle in any of the back shots i mean come on guys take the distended midsection out of this one there's just no way kai green was far superior but no disrespect meant to ronnie rockle hey he came in he did his homework he was conditioned and he was placed where the judges seen him and he he beat kai green 2010 pretty much academic here though in the rear double bicep in my opinion this is a better shot for kai than his rear lat spread muscle separation is improved from the lat spread and it's just you throw them bicep peaks into the equation night night it's all she wrote ronnie rockle loses both back shots but like i said this is not a judging venture at all this is to see how kai green lost to ronnie rockle and the abanthai is definitely a telling tale when it comes to the midsection of kai green but to be perfectly honest with you from the front double bicep shot from ronnie rockle and a couple of other ones i was excited to see his abanthai but it does not translate at all very well a little bit of a distension there at the bottom of it could that be body fat on a bodybuilder no kai green when you scan the body for the overall conditioning doesn't appear as good as ronnie rockles but i mean look at those quads would still be a hard one to beat uh kai green in here in the most muscular and you can really see the lack of conditioning in kai green softness softness and this is not a good pose for him at all anyway but i mean due to the musculature he was not losing it was definitely due to the conditioning and even in this shot you can see that midsection let's have another one here and this one is actually favoring kai green one of his best shots as far as the musc or the most musculars are concerned he should stay away from that crab position for sure he's got the the fake eyes in there maybe that's why the judges dinged him no it was the midsection guys don't kid yourself and judges do see that the good ones anyway and the lack of conditioning of course and taking nothing away from ronnie rockle he did bring his superior package probably the best package that he's ever brought to the olympia stage so bravo to ronnie rockle make him famous he beat kai green on the olympia stage hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison click the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one have a great day guys